Hello, fans. This is Shadowfury333 with a bit of a follow-up to some stuff I was talking about during my Dark Souls Let's Play. And that was that I kept bringing up Blade Symphony as an alternative game, as an alternative 3D melee combat game. Now, I mentioned already in my Dark Souls Let's Play a couple times that I don't think Dark Souls is really much of a PvP combat game. It's not bad, but there's a lot of things that could be done if you had a system that actually was very focused on sword play PvP combat. And this is probably my best example of that. So Blade Symphony is a game where, for the most part, you just have duels between people with swords. That's basically the entire game. There are a couple other modes, but your main mode is a duel, essentially like a fighting game. Now, at this point, I'm not playing, I'm merely spectating, so it's a little difficult to get hugely into detail. But essentially, the big thing that Blade Symphony does, which you will see these players do a lot, as it does seem to be, is that sword swipes parry. Like, when your sword hits the other person's sword in transit, a parry happens. And I'll go into more detail when I'm actually playing, but basically, that's the big defensive mechanic, is that swords parry other swords. Now, granted, you could just argue, well, this is entirely a two-handed sword combat system as opposed to a sword and shield combat system, and yes. Yes, it is. But my point is more so it's very focused. So. Finally, and so let's go into more detail. So every attack you have can be I can be one of three stances. You have fast attacks, which are fast. Heavy attacks, which are naturally your slowest attacks. And then balance, which are in the center. And there's also a little combo system you can kind of see in the bottom, where every single move I do, there's more of that type for fast and heavy attacks. Not for the other two, though. For air attacks and heavy attacks, there aren't air attacks being whatever you do when you're in the air, and heavy attacks just being a particular stance. Your attacks are also split into forward attacks and side attacks, which... Forward attacks go along the chain that I mentioned before, that combo chain. Side attacks are always the same no matter what point in the chain you're at. A left attack is always a left attack, a right attack is always a right attack, and they chain to each other a bit faster. So there's a lot of little subtleties to different types of attacks, and you can see also the path the blade will take should it come to it. On top of that, there's also the charging system allowing for a bit of a timing-based mix-up because you, your opponent doesn't know when you're actually going to be attacking. Oh, what? Seriously? I thought I had that. Anyway, one thing that annoys me about this game is that there's too many players and not enough arenas right now. Okay, this is not suitable for demonstration. I'm sorry. Anyway, the point is, there are a lot more things you can do than just weak attack, strong attack, and rolling attacks. There's, I mean, there's fewer weapons available. There's only five types of weapons, and most of them are pretty much offensively identical. Their main difference is defense, and there's also characters that change what your movesets are. My particular character moves really well for balanced attacks, but has very few heavy attacks in her combo. Ah. And that's a demonstration of what happens when someone hits you with a heavier attack. If you get hit with a heavier... If your sword gets with a heavier attack during your attack, then it'll be a parry. And in parry state, you end up getting basically pushed through. You can't act briefly. And your opponent is able to continue to attack you if you're in a lower stance. Like, if I'm in a fast stance, balanced and heavy attacks will parry me out. If I'm in a balanced stance, then only heavy attacks can, and if I'm in heavy stance, then nothing can, but heavy attacks are really super slow. And air attacks, I believe, get taken out by everything. And of course, there is there is rolling, and there is also sidestepping. Damn it, man. Ay, sorry about that. So yeah, basically, let's go over the basics of the whole thing again. So, three different stances for each weapon. Different characters have different stances. Like, if I were to change my weapon, for instance, to... Oops. Not there. Where is... 
Okay, let's say I change it to a katana. My available attacks don't change. And they don't really change what they do, but... My defense changes. It becomes a fainted attack. Which is basically... That's the katana thing. Each weapon has its own setup. Katanas have feints. Rapiers have... I believe... I believe they're also a guard. Long swords are a guard. Which is what I primarily use. Jeans are essentially a super parry. And... Scimitars are also a guard. Katanas are a bit... No, katanas are a faint attack. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I use long swords primarily. That's... That is my... There it is. That is what I tend to use. So, the main meat of the game is the stance system. You have multiple stances. You can flow between them, provided that you have attacks that are left in the combo. So I can go from, say, heavy to balanced to fast. But I can't go back to heavy without starting a brand new chain. But different characters have different movesets. So, for example, Vanguard, the one I was playing, has only one heavy attack and four balance attacks. Well, Pure, who I'm trying out now, shows that it's a different thing. Three balance attacks, three fast attacks, and two heavy attacks. I mean, my personal preference is Vanguard, but they all have different sets of attacks, so... Each character essentially prioritizes different stances over other characters. The Oak is more quick. Phalanx is also fairly quick, but not quite as focused on quickness. Pure was much more balanced, and I believe Judgment is even. Yeah, Judgment has even attacks in each stance. Or attacks for each level. And you'll also notice I have been charging attacks, which, like I said, that is a timing-dependent thing. There's two levels of charge. Basic attacks are your tier 1. They just do one thing. You charge it once, that's tier 2. And the main point of tier 2 is that your opponent does not know when you're actually going to come out of that, they just know that you might. And if you fully charge it, then it's tier 3, knocks an opponent down if it hits them, and obviously it does a lot of damage. On top of all the attacking options, you also have movement options. Sidestepping, backstepping, front stepping, rolling in all directions. Well, four directions. And even, for whatever reason, wall running. Because why not? Ah. I'm screwing up. But yeah, so there's a, a lot of different options mobility-wise, a lot of different options combat-wise, and of course, being that it is a mouse-controlled game, there's also a lot to do with where you position your mouse itself, because as you can see, the trail for where the sword will hit depends on the camera facing which is a huge part of the game in higher levels. And the last thing is when you charge up, hitting your roll button causes you to, at the cost of being more vulnerable, just quickly charge forward, which is once again another mind game trick. It's another mind game tool. So now that I've managed to actually go over the basics, I can finally start showing the actual game proper. And the last thing I forgot to mention, there is the ability to throw a kunai. It's not a big deal. People will automatically block it. If your sword is not being currently used in an attack, the ranged attack will be automatically blocked. But it's a good way to punish reckless approaches. And at times you can have games where it just ends up with people throwing kunais at each other, hoping to be timing it right to be able to get the one that hits and not be hit themselves. Back to where I was before. So yeah, compared to Dark Souls, the thing about Dark Souls, of course, is that Dark Souls basically trades this level of system mastery as part of its gameplay for customization. Like, there isn't anywhere near the amount of options for combat with any given weapon. But of course, there's a lot of different options for different types of combat. You can have you know, pure single sword builds, you can have axes as your major thing, you can have pure ranged attacks if you want to, you can obviously have magic as a thing. You can have a mix of ranged and melee combat. Ah. Play more defensive playstyle, more offensive playstyle. I've really got to be more careful when I'm fighting here. 
but each one of those has only like th two attacks per weapon. Well, like three or four attacks per weapon. And a couple modes, usually a two-handed mode and a one-handed mode. And really, that's only a major difference maker. How about the heavy attack get parried? Anyway, that only makes a huge difference for melee weapons. Like, honestly, I think that ranged weapons are just underpowered in that game. Would someone please join me here so I can just play consistently? Well, at any rate, so... So you can see both players going for very much charge attacks. That is generally the focus, because like I said, you have a timing question that comes out there, which is something I... I mean, something actually Dark Souls 3 does have with charged heavy attacks, but those aren't a big deal. But it is something that you see a lot that the enemies do in PvE. Which, I've always complained in that game, it's kind of annoying, but... Here, there's a lot more in the way of mobility options, and also the fact that when you attack, if your sword hits their sword, you can parry them. That makes a huge difference. Like, your offense is your defense here, which, like I said, it's a very specific style of play. It's going for a very specific, different style of play. It's not going for shield as an option, it's going for sword as your main option. And really your only option. But as a PvP fighting game, for swords, I find it works really well. Like, it's interesting. It's built around a, like it's built around one weapon, or essentially five weapons that operate very similarly. But it's built around that. And wow, would you? Wow, you're okay. Okay, I'm not sure what... Maybe Air does get parried by Heavy. I don't know why I'm doing so poorly today. I was playing really well yesterday, but I'm doing poorly today. Yeah, I should probably be more polite. Everything can be thrown very easily in this game. I'm so used to attack speeding throws in fighting games that I find this rather odd. And once again, I I think that basically covers it. I mean, this is this is just another. This is a different example of a game handling melee combat PvP as its main mechanic, as its only mechanic. That's what it does. And the sort of things that can be done with that. Because I kept pointing it out, kept bringing it up in the Dark Souls Let's Play, and I figure I should at least show it to some extent, even if I'm not doing very well at it, because apparently I don't do well at things while I'm talking about them, as has been shown on many occasions. But, yeah, that's... That's Blade Symphony, so that's what I was talking about. That's about it, so thanks for watching. I hope that was interesting and informative about the stuff I was talking about offhandedly during the Let's Play. And otherwise, have a good night.